Hey there, welcome to First Five. If you're looking for encouragement, you came to the right place. Let's dive in. You know, I think there's something really special about when we have the opportunity to pray the scriptures, to essentially give to God the words that he gave to us. And I, today I want to take some time to read the end of Matthew 11 and truly just pray through each line um, over your life, over my life, to give us some time to grow in the word of God, to pray the will of God over our lives, what is said in the scriptures, what Jesus is inviting us into. I want to take some time to pray that over ourselves. So would you join me as we read and pray through Matthew 11, verse 28, 29, and 30. It says, Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. And so Lord, you've said from your own mouth, come to me all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens and I will give you rest. God, I pray for every person that's listening right now who is weary and carries heavy burdens. God, would you give them rest? Would you be a place of rest for them? Would you be able to meet them right where they are in the tension, in the strife, in the difficulty of life? And God, would you give them rest, give them relief? God, we just ask for a spirit of peace to cover them in the name of Jesus. God, would you meet them right where they are? Would you invite them into your rest and would they choose to follow you? Would they cast all their, all their burdens at your feet? Would they cast all their anxiety at your feet because you care for them? God, would we cast all of our cares on you because you care for us? God, would you meet us where we are? Would you relieve us of the burdens that we carry? And God, would you give us a yoke that is easier to bear than the burdens that we currently choose to carry in so many situations? You say, take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart and you will find rest for your souls. God, I thank you for your humility and your gentility, even though you are the God of the universe. Humility and gentility do not have to be your markers. You are above all. You are higher than all. You are greater than all. And yet and still, humility and gentility is your nature. You are gentle with us. You move with a humble heart to God. Will we learn from you? God, would you teach us your humility? Would you teach us your gentility? God, with the way in which you encounter uh, the way in which you interact with us, God, would that affect the way that we interact with other people? God, would gentility and humility be markers for our lives like they were markers for yours and they are markers for you right now? God, thank you for your character, God. Would you give us a yoke that is easier and lighter than the burdens that we currently carry? Teach us how to be humble. Teach us how to be gentle at heart, God. Would we find rest for our souls when we emulate your character? Would we find rest for our souls when we emulate who you are at your core? God, I thank you that your yoke is easy to bear and the burden that you give is light. It is lighter than our problems. It is lighter than our addictions. It is lighter than our circumstances. It is lighter than our difficulties. It's lighter than the diagnosis. It's lighter than the stress. It's lighter than all the things that we would try to carry ourselves. God, I thank you that your yoke is easy and your burden is light, that it is a yoke. Whenever a yoke is upon the, the neck of an oxen, they are able to only move in a certain direction to see, the, God, the, the, the yoke truly helps to steer and guide and lead the oxen to where it is they need to go, where it is they need to plow, the, the destination and the path in which they need to go. And so, God, we thank you that you are in control, that you are leading us and guiding us by the power of your spirit. 
but we thank you that your yoke is far easier than the control and the burden of the world around us. That your yoke is far easier than the control and the burden of the situations and the problems around us and the people around us. That your yoke is easy and the burden you give is light. Thank you for your burden. Your burden for kindness toward other people, your burden for joy, your burden for love, your, your burden for peace and patience and gentleness and, and faithfulness and goodness and self-control. God, I thank you for your burden for people, your heart for people. God, would we have the same burden that you have? That even though it is lighter than all the other burdens we carry, God, will we walk with urgency knowing that you've called us to go into the world and make disciples of all nations, go into the world and introduce people to you. So God, we thank you. We thank you for your burdens. We thank you that rest can be found in you. Would you teach us how to find rest by teaching us humility and gentility? Would you teach us how to take upon your yoke instead of the yoke that the world tries to give us? God, we love you and we pray for rest for every person that's listening right now in the name of Jesus. It's in your name we pray. Amen. I really hope that that encouraged you today. We'll talk soon.